China's National Bureau of Statistics, or NBS, announced Friday that the country's Consumer Price Index, or CPI, rose 4.9 percent year-on-year in February. The Economy Report shows you more. The increase was the same as January's. NBS spokesman Sheng Lai Yu said food prices, which account for nearly a third of the basket of goods in the nation's CPI calculation, surged 11 percent year-on-year in February. Non-food prices rose 2.3 percent from a year earlier. China has adjusted the weight of items in its CPI calculation from the start of this year. The food weighting pushed down 2.21 percentage points and property-related weighting up 4.22 percentage points. Shen pointed out that consumer prices rose 4.8 percent in urban areas and 5.5 percent in a rural region compared with a year earlier. The February CPI was higher than market forecasts and above the government's target for this year. We expect it to be 4.6 percent or 4.7 percent, but eventually it is 4.9 percent. Shen attributed the increase to price hikes during a spring festival holiday and seasonal factors. He said the upward trend may continue as quantitative easing by some countries have resulted in higher commodity prices. She added that the government is confident of curbing inflation as abundant green reserves, the oversupply of industrial products, and the country's prudent monetary policy will help. China's producer price index, or PPI, a major measure of inflation at the wholesale level, rose 7.2 percent in February from a year earlier and 0.8 percent month on month. On Thursday, the General Administration of Customs said the country recorded a trade deficit of 7.3 billion U.S. dollars in February as the Lunar New Year holiday season dented exports. That was China's second monthly trade deficit in a year. Market observers said the sudden deficit was linked to a rising yuan, instabilities in external markets, and rising labor costs.